Yorubun, anyo nga sa'yo, if yes topic man nila yung nila, panggap sa nila. Okay, so tatry natin ngayon yung tooth key. So, meaning ng tooth key is listening. Okay? So, ang instruction is, chin mo nul tooth ko, al madyon tayo da bul kurusip sa'yo. Okay, so ang meaning ng in instruction is, listen the question and then please choose the correct answer. Okay, so from the, from the word chin mun, meaning question, then tut ko, listen, and then alma jon tedap. So, correct, tedabul answer, then kurusipiyo, choose please. Okay, so dito sa listening, ang keyword lang dito na laging yung tatandaan or papakinggan, yung mga questions na what, who, when, where, or how much. Okay? So, yun lang yung tatandaan nyo. Okay? So, ito yung mga script. So, yan. Sinulat ko na yung mga scripts ng listening. So, para malaman nyo kung ano rin yung tinatanong. Then, andyan na yung choices. Okay? So, hinahighlight ko yung word na mo. Ibig sabihin, yan lang yung hahanapin nyo or yung papakinggan nyo. Yung papakinggan nyo maigi. So, ibig sabihin yan, kapag narinig nyo yung mo, what? So, meaning yan, what? Okay? So, i-analyze muna natin yung yung script or yung sasabihin sa sa audio. Okay? So, nam. It means man or lalaki yung maririnig nyong magsasalita. Okay? Jigum meaning now. Then, mo, what? So, hinighlight ko yung mo. Ibig sabihin, ayan yung keyword na kailangan nyong pakinggan. Then, heyo meaning to do or do. So, now, what, do. Okay, so, pag nakita nyo, uh, pag narinig nyo yung mo, it means what. So, ano, ano yung ginagawa. Okay, so, sa so choices, so, titina mo yung choices. So, kapag, kasi pag narinig nyo na yung mo, matik na yun. So, what, then, hey, yo, do. So, what, do. So, kailangan, yung pinaka-related sa choices, yun lang yung tamang sagot. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, what to? Okay, so, ano yung ginagawa mo? So, meaning, ang sagot is kailangan action verb. Okay, so, tingnan nyo na kagad sa choices kung ano dyan yung action verb. Then, she saw you, was, wesa yeyo, onul yeyo, ojon, yol si yeyo. Okay, so, ano yung action verb dyan? So, ang etong question na to is listening to. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nyo ito mababasa. Ang mababasa nyo lang dito is yung choices. Yung question na to hindi nyo yung mababasa. Okay? So, pakinggan natin yung listening. Sigum, buheo? Okay, so, narinig nyo? Sigum, buheo? So, ibig sabihin, dal ang sa actual exam, dalawang beses lang dalawang beses lang inulit yung question. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nyo talagang hanapin yung keyword or yung salitang mga what, who, when, where, or how much. So, ibig sabihin, yun lang yung pinaka-keyword nyo. Kasi kapag na laman nyo or napahinggan nyo na kagad kung ano yung tanong, katulad dito, mo, heyo. So, ibig sabihin, what do? It means, ano yung ginagawa mo? So, yung pinaka-related dyan na action verb sa choices, ayun lang yung tamang sagot. Okay, so, ang, choice, ang choices is, she saw you. So, she saw you means, from the dictionary form, shita, to wash. Okay, so, naguhugas. So, hindi natin alam kung naguhugas siya ng muka or ng kamay, pero she saw you is to wash. Okay, next is, wesa, wesa yeyo. So, meaning, company or workplace is workplace so meaning yung wesa yeyo hindi na siya action verb kasi wesa yeyo it's company or it's workplace so may elimination na kagad kayo ma na magaganap sa pagpili ng tamang sagot okay so onol yeyo so onor yeyo so meaning is today so hindi tinatanong sa choices at hindi siya related sa question na mo yeyo ano yung ginagawa mo so meaning 3 is today is not the correct answer. Then, number 4, o John, yol si yeyo. So, ito, pinakamala yung tanong na, tanong na to kasi hindi naman tinatanong yung oras 
ang maririnig nyo kapag tinatanong yung oras is miot si miot so ang nar ang maririnig nyo sa tanong is mo heyo what do so anong ginagawa mo ngayon okay so ano yung tamang sagot dyan is number one she's soyo chikum mo heyo so tan ulitin natin yung question chikum mo heyo Okay, so, but chikum, moheyo, it means, ang tamang sagot is, she saw you. Kasi, siya lang yung action verb sa choices. Okay, so, chong dabun, ilbon imnita. Okay, next naman is, so, so, number two na tayo. So, ito yung script ng question. Miot si, jom simul, mogoyo. So, it means, miot si. So, yung miot, okay, so, ibig sabihin yan, in-highlight ko yung miot. Meaning, ayan lang yung, kailangan nyong mapakinggan sa question. Okay? So, meaning ng miot, si, it means what time. And then, tong miot, ginagamit lang yan for counting unit. So, what, for what. So, para sa counter lang yan or sa counting unit. Okay? So, what. Then, si, it means time. So, counting unit of time. So, what time. Then, e is the time marker then jomshim mul mogoyo it means jomshim afternoon then mogoyo to eat so pag pinagsama mo sila jomshim mul mogoyo it means lunch okay so what time do you lunch or do you have lunch so anong oras ka daw kakain ng lunch okay so so ano yung possible answer rito so ibig sabihin kapag may miot na nakita kayo ibig sabihin may oras Okay, so miot si, and then oras, ano yung oras? So, included dun yung number. So, hahanapin nyo sa choices dyan kung ano dyan yung may number. Kasi kapag sinabing miot, ibig sabihin, pinag-uusapan pinag dito yung counting, yung pagbilang. Okay, so kapag may bilang, ibig sabihin, hahanapin nyo sa choices kung ano sa dyan yung may number. Okay, so, onul, so, number one, onul mogoyo, it means today, it, so, it today so malayo siya sa tanong so dapat ang tanong dito is what oh, ano yung ginagawa mo so so number one is wrong number two money mogoyo so ibig sabihin i eat a lot so ibig sabihin hindi siya tamang ta, ta, hindi siya tamang sagot para sa tanong next achimul mogoyo so it means breakfast so hindi siya yung tamang sagot then number four Yol tu siye mogoyo. So, it means, so jom shim, so lunch, it means 12. Okay, so yol tu siye mogoyo. At isa pa sa mga, isa pa sa mga um, tip, makikita nyo yung number. Diba? May number siya. And then yung counting unit ng time. So, myot si, yol tu si. So, it means related sila. At same, same sila ng, ng counting unit. Okay, so, Dito, so dahil ito is yung script, sinulat ko, pero hindi nyo yan mababasa sa listening. Okay, ang mababasa nyo lang sa listening is yung mga choices. So, ang, kaya natin to ginagawa, kaya ako sinulat yung ano, yung script para malaman nyo kung ano yung mga dapat tandaan or papakinggan kapag napakinggan nyo yung mga keyword. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang hanapin nyo lang dito or yung... Yung hihintayin nyo lang pakinggan is yung mga tanong na what, when, where, how much. So, yun lang. So, kapag, na, kapag napainggan nyo na yun, kailangan yung related sa choices. Yun yung, yung, yun yung hahanapin yung sagot. Dahil yun yung tama. Okay? So, for, for this, uh, katulad ng example na to, miot si, so what time? Then, ginagamit yung miot sa counting unit, dapat ang so, ang isasagot nyo rito lagi is merong number. So, number 4 is merong number. So, it means it is the correct answer. And same sila ng counting unit na ginamit. So, counter for time, she. So, yol tu si eh, mogoyo. So, it is the correct answer. Okay? So, pakinggan natin yung yung audio. Uban. Miao si eh, mogoyo? Okay. Miot siye, jom simul mogoyo. Okay, so, ba hanapin nyo lang or hihintayin nyo pakinggan kung ano yung pinaka 
tanong. Ibig sabihin yung miot si. Okay, so painggan nyo ulit. Uban. Okay, so jomsim, jomsie, jomsimul magoyo. So what time did you eat or do you eat lunch? Okay, so yol tu sie magoyo. So jong dabun sabon imnida. Okay, next naman is itong, itong listening na number 3. So, ang question naman dito is sa script is yo. So, meaning ng yo, yo is, yan, yo, it means babae. So, babae yung mag, magsasabi ng tanong. Okay, so yo. So, ang script is Kajogi Myon Myong Nyeyo. So, nakita nyo na naman yung Myot. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan may number uli yung isasagot nyo. Okay. So, Kajok meaning is family. Then, E, the subject particle. So, it means it emphasizes the family. So, ang tinatanong dito is yung about sa family. So, Myot Myong, ibig sabihin Myot. How many? Then, Myong, it means counter counting unit for person or people then iyo so interrogative form so so kajogi family myon myong how many members of your family so ilan daw yung ilan daw yung person sa family mo okay so it means nakita nyo na naman yung myot so ibig sabihin yan may counter may count ang hanapin yung sagot is may counting unit and then may number okay So, painggan natin yung ocho. Silmunil dutko, almajin tedabil kurusipsiyo. 4번. Kajogi mian miang iyeyo? Okay. So, narinig nyo? Kajogi mian miang iyeyo? So, ibig sabihin, hanapin nyo sa choices kung ano yung may number at kung ano yung merong counting unit. Okay, so sa choices, number one, kajogi yeyo. Ibig sabihin, kajok, it means family, yeyo is. So, it is family. So, it means wrong. Kasi wala siyang number. Tsaka wala siyang counting unit na pang person, yung myong. Next, ibon, ne myong yeyo. So, ne, from the word net. If it's been four, then myong nyeyo. So nakita natin yung myong. It means, eto na yung hinanap natin tamang sagot. Dahil may number, ne, it means four. Then myong, it means the counting unit for person. So ne myong nyeyo. So four members or four person. Okay, so number two is the correct answer. Then three, kajogi isoyo. So ibig sabihin, kajogi isoyo. So meron, kajok family, i isoyo have so or there is family so it's, it means wrong number four hanguge sarayo so i live i live in korean hangu korea then a the time uh, the place location marker and sarayo from the dictionary form salda to live so i live in korea okay. so it means number two is the correct answer dahil sa choices uh, sa choices makikita nyo yung number and then yung counting unit. Okay, so yung ang ginagamit dito ang count number is native Korean number. Okay? So painggan niyo ulit yung ocho. E, kurusipsiyo. 4번. Kajogi mian myeong iyeyo? Okay. So Kajogi mian myeong iyeyo. Okay, so so yun lang yung tip So, or yung technique, yung myot so kapag narinig nyo yung myot it means ang hahanapin yung sagot is may number at saka may counting unit okay? 
So, next. So, number 4. So, num. So, ang, ang magbabasa naman dito ng question is lalaki. So, marinig nyo na lalaki. So, dong sengun. It means sibling. Or, hindi natin alam kung nakababatang kapatid na lalaki or nakababatang kapatid na babae. So, pag sinabing dong seng, it means kapatid. Okay? So, ODE isoyo. So, hinighlight ko rito yung ODE isoyo. Kasi, ayan yung kailangan yung mapakinggan. So, kapag napakinggan nyo yung ODE isoyo, kailangan tumatak sa isip nyo nasaan. Ibig sabihin, sa Tagalog nun, nasaan siya. Okay? OD, from the word OD, it means where. Then, E, so, location marker. Then, isoyo, have. Pero, pag pinagsama mo sila, e, isoyo, nasaan yung location. Okay? So, so nasaan daw yung location. So, anong yung ano rito? Topic. Okay? So, ang topic rito is yung nakababatang yung kapatid mo. Or, nasaan yung kapatid mo. Okay? So, dong singun, o, de, isoyo. Okay? So, sa choices, hanapin nyo yung place. Kasi, so, ibig sabihin, yung place yung hinahanap. Kasi, where. So, it means, hanapin nyo lang yung, yung, yung place dyan sa choices. And then, hanapin nyo yung e isoyo. Okay. So, ang technique dito, guys. Kapag narinig nyo yung o e isoyo na patanong. Yan, o. O e isoyo. Nasaan siya? So, ang tamang sagot dito is, e isoyo rin. Hanapin nyo yung Hanapin nyo yung place sa sagot na merong e isoyo. Ibig sabihin kasi nun, nasa. So, kapag patanong siya, nasaan. So, kapag, kapag pa sagot, sasagutin mo to, nasa. So, ibig sabihin, ang tanong dito is, nasaan yung kapatid mo? So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito is, nasa blank. Or, nasa blank. So, mag-ano ka ng place. Okay, so, before that, so, anin muna natin yung choices. So, number one, Hakyo eh, kayo. So, Hakyo, it means school. Then, e eh, so, location marker. Then, kayo, it means go. So, I go. So, yung dongseng daw is pumunta sa school. So, mali. Kasi, ang hinahanap din natin na tamang sagot is nasaan siya. E, eh, number one is pumunta. So, it's wrong. Number two, dongseng eh, isoyo. It means, e isoyo, I have or there is. So, I have a sibling or meron akong kapatid so hindi hindi tinatanong kung meron ba ang tinatanong ang tinatanong dito is ODE isoyo nasaan okay so number 3 sambon hakyo e isoyo so eto na nakita natin yung e isoyo ibig sabihin nasa ano siya nasa school so it means number 3 is the correct answer so titingnan niyo kung same sila pero dahil hindi niyo to mababasa yung ano yung script yung tanong Ang tatandaan nyo lang dito is kapag nakita pag narinig niyo yung ODE isoyo it means place siya then kailangan niyo pakinggan yung E isoyo din yan ha? so di ba kapag narinig niyo yung ODE isoyo sa Tagalog sa Tagalog niyan is nasaan nasaan yung nakababatang kapatid mo lalaki so ang sasagutin mo rito is pagpasagot nasa E isoyo nasa school so ayun yung tamang sagot yung tamang pag-a-analyze niya. Okay? So, number 3 is the correct answer. For Che Dong Sengi Yeyo. So, ibig sabihin, it's my, it's my sibling. So, Che, it means my, then Dong Seng, sibling, Yeyo. It's, so, it's my sibling. So, number 4 is wrong. Okay? So, pakinggan uli natin yung Ocho. Uban. 동생은 어디에 있어요? 5번. 동생은 어디에 있어요? Okay, so, 나리닉 뇨. 동생은 어디에 있어요? Okay, so it means, 나사 안다우 용. So, 나사 안, 나사 안 용. Nakababatang kapatid niya So, ibig sabihin ng ODA isoyo sa Tagalog is nasaan So, ang tamang sagot is nasa school Okay? Ganun siya i-analyze So, pag narinig nyo yung ODA isoyo I-analyze nyo na lang sa Tagalog Itatak nyo na lang na nasaan Nasaan siya? Nasaan yung 
nasaan yung blank, yung topic, then, isasagot nyo dapat is, nasa blank. Okay. So, nasaan yung nakababatang kapatid mo? Nasa school. So, ganun lang siya i-analyze. So, tandaan nyo yung ODE, 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 ISOYO. Okay. Okay, so next naman is yung question na onche. So, tandaan nyo kapag nakita nyo yung, or pag narinig nyo yung onche, it means when. So, sa Tagalog, kailan. Okay, nam. It means yung lalaki naman yung maririnig nyo magbabasa ng question. Okay, so onche, han kuge, was soyo. Okay, so onche, when. So, ibig sabihin, kapag narinig nyo yung onche, so paano nyo to i-analyze? Kailan? Ibig sabihin, kailan? So, ibig sabihin, kailan or panahon, time, oras. So, panahon or oras, yun yung hahanapin nyo. Ibig sabihin, kapag narinig yung onche, kailan, and then, yung verb nyo is wasoyo, ibig sabihin, nangyari na. So, it means, onche, hanguge, wasoyo. So, hanguk means Korea, then E, the time, uh, the location, marker, then wasoyo, from the dictionary form, oda, to come, then wasoyo, came. So, kailan ka pumunta sa Korea? So, ibig sabihin, past tense siya. So, nakita nyo yung question, or narinig nyo yung question na nasa past tense form, it means yung isasagot nyo din is nasa past tense form. Yung verb, so wasoyo rin. And then, onje, it means Kailan? So, kailangan ang hanapin yung sagot is kailan. So, panahon or oras ang hinahanap rito. Okay? So, for example, question uh, choices number one, Jangnyon e wasoyo. Ibig sabihin ng Jangnyon, last year. Then, e, the time marker, the time, the time particle, then wasoyo came. So, I came at, I came last year. So, it means, Number one is the correct answer Kasi pumunta siya daw last year So, ang question is Maririnig nyo siya nasa past tense form Kailan ka pumunta sa Korea Okay, so pumunta ako I came to Korea last year So, number one is the correct answer So, back, so number two Bethunam meso wasoyo So, Bethunam So, Vietnam Eso meaning look a uh, location marker so hindi hindi tinatanong kung saan saan ka pumunta so ang naki, ang nari, maririnig natin tanong dito is onje kailan hindi od okay so ibig sabihin number 2 is wrong so ibig kasi sa number 2 i came from vietnam so nanggaling daw siya sa vietnam okay so mali na kasi hindi naman tinatanong dito sa script kung saan ka nanggaling. Ang tinatanong dito, kailan ka pumunta? Okay? So, number three, Dong Sengi Hanguge Wasoyo. So, Dong Sengi, so the sibling, or yung kapatid ko, came to Korea. So, hindi, hindi rito tinanong kung sino. Kung sino yung pumunta sa Korea. Kung sino yung nagpunta sa Korea. So, hindi natin dito narinig sa script yung salitang nugu, yung question na nugu. Who? So, mali. Number four, Chin Kuhago Hangu Gewa Soyo. So, hindi rin natin narinig yung, so, hindi nga natin narinig yung Nugu, Nugu Hago. So, sino daw kasama niya? So, hindi natin narinig kasi ang, ang maririnig natin sa question is Onje Kailan. So, Chin Kuhago Hangu Gewa Soyo. It means, I came to Korea with my friend. So, number four is wrong. So, pakinggan natin yung Ojo. Okay, so Tashi to Rishipsio, please listen again. Emajin Tedabu, Kurushipsio. Sabon. Onze, Hanguge, Wasoyo. 
Okay, so, onche, narinig niya, di ba? Onche, hankuke, wa soyo. Sapa. Sabon. Onche, hankuke, wa soyo. Okay, so, onche, hankuke, wa soyo. So, when, so narinig niyo, yan lang yung tatandaan nyo sa listening. Onche, hankuke, wa soyo. So, kapag narinig niyo na yung onche, kailan? Hanapin nyo yung time. Time, adverb or adverb frequency of time. So, yung panahon or oras. So, ito, number one is Jangnyon. It means last year. I came last year. Okay? So, pumunta daw siya sa Korea last year. Okay? So, Jongdabun, Ilbon, Imnida. Okay? So, number, so, next is, yan. So, dito naman tayo sa susunod. So, ang ang maririnig yung magsasalita dito is yoja so babae so from the word yo so contracted word lang yan ng yoja yo pati ito namja so contracted word siya ng namja nam it means man yo it means woman okay, okay. next is oje mo hesoyo okay so oje it means yesterday then mo hesoyo so maririnig um, maririnig niyo yung salitang mo so Tandaan nyo yung mo, it means what. Then, hesoyo, did. Okay? So, what did yesterday. So, oje, it means yesterday. So, nakita nyo or maririnig nyo yung, yung tanong nasa past tense form. So, it means, hahanapin nyo lang yung tamang sagot is yung verb ay naka past tense form. Okay? So, yun lang yung mga technique. So, pag narinig nyo yung question na nasa past tense form, yung verb, Hanapin nyo sa choices yung verb na naka-past tense form din. Okay, so, number one, Tosuguan ni Koyo. So, ibig sabihin, Tosuguan, library. Then, E, the subject marker. So, ina-emphasize nung subject marker, yung Tosuguan daw is Koyo. It means big. So, that the library is big. So, tinanong ba? So, ang tinatanong dito, ang hinanap natin dito is action action verb hindi yung description ng library okay so number 2 tosogwane kayo i go to tosogwan so hindi natin or hindi mo maririnig sa tanong kung saan siya pupunta hindi mo maririnig sa tanong yung o d e okay ang maririnig mo is mo hesoyo what did you do yesterday okay next so number 2 is wrong Free sambon to suguane of soyo. So, pag sinabing e of soyo, ibig sabihin, nothing. So, wala. So, it means, then to suguane. So, location. So, place siya. Then, location marker. Ibig sabihin, wala ako sa library. So, ayun. Yung sa number 3. Then, number 4. So, number 3 is strong. Number 4. So, to suguane so. To suguane e so. Kung buhe soyo. So, ito na yung hinahanap natin tamang sagot dahil yung verb is nasa past tense form din. Okay? So, it means number 4 is the correct answer. So, ano daw yung ginawa niya kahapon? So, oje, uh, oje, mohe soyo. Then, sabon, to suguane so, kung buhe soyo. So, I studied at library. So, ibig sabihin, relate, um, Ayan na yung technique. So, pag narinig nyo yung question na sa past tense form, yung verb, kailangan ang isasagot nyo din is, or hanapin yung sagot din is yung naka-past tense form na verb. So, ito yung siya, kongbu esoyo. So, from the dictionary form, kongbu hada, it means to study. Okay? So, kongbu esoyo, it means studied. So, past tense na siya. Okay? So, pakinggan nyo yung, yung ojo. 5번 어제 뭐 했어요? 